So I'm just gonna, um, it's, <laughs> I was up so late that I realized, oh, it's Taco Tuesday. Like, I, you know, Monday ran into Tuesday and I'm like, oh, so it's Tuesday, 3 a.m. Hello. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> All right, so Bismillah, I have a orange Fanta. I, you can't order any size, it just comes like this. Um, on Tuesdays, they have like two for one deal, so yeah. So I have some cheesy fries and I have a beef double crunch wrap. Supreme, I think. Whoa, it's heavy. It's heavier than I was at birth. Actually, no, I was pretty heavy at birth. I was like eight pounds, 10 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> And I have some hot sauce, so let's put those on the fries because, yes. And yes, I know I'm not supposed to be eating this. High in sodium food. All right, so let's dig in and give you a first beauty bite of these cheese fries. Beauty bite! Pretty good. Yeah, there's eating sounds in this video, so if you have Missa Popovnia, whatever it's called, this video will trigger you. I have orange soda. I just don't feel like drinking the chemicals today, but like, every time I have orange soda, actually, no, anytime I have orange crush, or any kind of crush soda, it makes me nostalgic because that was my favorite as a kid. When I was allowed to have soda, I would have a crush, which was usually like, my mom never bought a case of soda. And I used to like go to friends' houses and see that like their parents would have cases of soda in the fridge. <laughs> and like, I used to think, oh, I'm missing out at the time, but now I realize, you know, she was just trying to do what's good for me. But I mean, I have an addict gene, unfortunately. And you know, we are also just our own people. And no matter how much parents try sometimes, you know, <laughs> as a treat, when we would go out, I would always want the grape crush. Grape crush, orange crush, or cream soda crush. Those were my favorite. So I thought I would talk about like some things that, speaking of, you know, growing up, things throughout the years that, foods that I became, you know, that I would love to feast on and that I became fixated on. Because I have a lot of food fixations um, where I become obsessed with like a food and I have to have it and like my, my mind won't rest until, you know, I can't ignore it and I mean, just like, it's like I'll keep thinking about it and obsessing about it. So as early as I can remember, I told you guys before, it was like those magic moments puddings. I could eat like a case of those <laughs> and I was only ever allowed one or two and I would like be like, oh, you know. Another thing is sour candy. I loved sour candy. I haven't had like actual candy in so long. I've had chocolate, but like actual candies. I can't even remember the last time I had any. Every time I talk, here I go. This is moving. <laughs> I, it's 3 a.m., no makeup, no perfect hijab. Nothing of that sort. I'm supposed to eat with my right hand as a Muslim, and I sometimes forget that. All right. Takes time. <laughs> so, the hot sauce. Mm. So in my like teenage years, in young adult years, I had some things that I loved to eat. Mostly, I had weird eating habits. Like, at like midnight, I would watch Jerry Springer and microwave McCain uh, french fries with cheese and ketchup, or just a huge plate of cheese and eat it. <laughs> or I would fry hot dogs, like a whole pack. But I like my hot dogs extra crispy, like cooked, so I usually set off the alarm and we'll wake up the whole house. Um. <laughs> what else? Mm. Large black pitted canned olives. <laughs> I could eat the whole, I would eat the whole can. Um, and dill pickle flavored anything, chips, crispy minis, the rice cakes. One time I became so obsessed with those. I remember getting like cankers in my mouth from all the Salt and vinegary tastes. Mott's Garden Cocktail. I love that stuff. You know why? It's just like juice, but it has like salt and sweet. It's so weird. It has like sugar and salt. So it's super addictive to eat. I need to drink. I'm trying to think of what else. Boxed, like Duncan Hines, I think. Or was it Betty Crocker? Those boxes of like urban garlic, ma instant mashed potatoes. <gasps> I would add extra butter in them. Um, those were so good. <laughs> it's falling apart. Those were some of the main foods I was fixated on. Later on, it would be like 
Like the Nashi. Look how fixated I was on the Nashi. Or paneer. At one time it was pizza. Pizza pizza. Especially pizza pizza because their garlic dip sauce, if you're in Canada, and you're not a health buff, <laughs> you have to try the pizza pizza garlic dip. I usually get like a whole pizza, but something about getting a slice. I don't know. <laughs> So have you heard that Britney Spears is going through a divorce? Or Britney, she's had like a lot of crappy people in her life. I don't know like all the details. But this is what happens when you want me to chew my food. <laughs> it's rubber. Apparently like they had a prenup, but he's like blackmailing or threatening to release like embarrassing things about her unless he caves, unless she caves. I was like, isn't that extortion or something? I mean, isn't he embarrassed? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. That's what I heard. But we never know what, like, news gossip was true and what's not. Huge soda. <clears throat> so I'm going to try again tomorrow to get back on track and not eat this way and drink soda. Just having a, a very weak moment. And I think part of it comes from feeling a, feeling a bit discouraged from my walk yesterday, like, how out of shape I am so I know yeah it makes sense to go eat something bad after but it just those negative feelings like they just make you want to eat I don't know how to explain it but so I'm gonna try again tomorrow because I have some goals I have to smash in order to I basically look at my life right now like this like I have there's me on one side of this huge wall with a door and on the other side of the wall there's all of these things waiting for me to collect them all of these goals these travel goals um, all of these things I want to do that I couldn't do now. I still want to shop at Le Chateau, okay? Um, and I'm literally going to prance through the streets. doesn't matter. I'm going to do it <laughs> when I can. So I have all of these goals and dreams on the other side of this wall. And I, all I have to do to unlock that door is get better, you know, beat this. But that's, there's a lot of things I have to, you know, there's a lot of things I have to do. I know what I have to do. I just have to do it. So... But even when I'm having bad days, even if my days outnumber the good ones, when it comes to success with my weight and all that, I'm still gonna, you know, be honest and tell you guys, like, be transparent and like, this is what I'm going through, you know? Some days I don't feel like it, but, you know, most days I don't mind. So anyway, that's about it. Still shisha free. I had shisha once, caved, I had it once, and uh, on live stream. And then since then I haven't been smoking. So that's good at least. Anyway, that's it guys for this video. Thanks for listening and having this uh, late bees and snack. This is childproof too, help me.